Welcome back. We continue our discussion on calculus where we are looking at differentiation using the first principles. So we have this example on the board, differentiate using the first principles. So the first principles that we are referring to um, is here. The first principle that we are referring to is here. You can see we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of this as h approaches 0. Where you see f prime of x, this is the same as dy dx. So don't run away after seeing f prime of x. This is the same as dy dx. Okay, so this is what we call the first principle. Um, let's use the first principle to differentiate. So we have our example 1a, where we have y is equal to 2x. Again, y is the same as f of x. So where you see f of x or y, they are basically the same. So we have to differentiate this by the first principle. So looking at the first principle, we, we need to know what to put here, what to substitute for a, f of x plus h and f of x. We need to know what those quantities are. So, we know that f of x is the same as y. So, in our case, f of x is equal to 2x. Because y is the same as f of x. So, here where we are supposed to put f of x, what we are basically supposed to put here is the original function. So, in place of f of x, what we are supposed to substitute here for f of x is actually 2x. Let's now look at the other quantity. We have f of x plus h. Where do we get this quantity? We get this quantity from the original function by substituting wherever we have x, we put two, we put x plus h. So for example, getting our f of x plus h from our original function which is 2x, so where we have x here, we shall put x plus h. So we have 2. Now you can see where we have x here, we are going to put x plus h. So that our f of x plus h will be f of x plus h will be... When you multiply 2 by x and by h, you have 2x plus 2h. Oh yes. So, when you have these two quantities, you are now at liberty to substitute these two quantities for f of x plus h and f of h x. Let's now do the substitution. So we have dy dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus 
h. So where we have f of x plus h, we put our f of x plus h, which is 2x plus 2h. Then we, of course, we put it in brackets according to the rules of substitution. Whatever you substitute, you put in brackets. Minus, you can see here we have f of x. So in place of f of x, our f of x is actually 2x. So again, whatever we substitute, we put in brackets. Everything all over h. So we have substituted for f of x plus h and f of x. So that we have... Let's remove the brackets. Continuing this limit, we have, you can see, 2x plus 2h minus 2x. So this gets to that. Everything over h. So that, at this point, you look for like terms on the numerator. You can see we have 2x and we have negative 2x. So these two are like terms which we are able to add or subtract. So we have 2x, we have 2x and minus 2x which will give us a zero. So we are going to get rid of 2x and minus 2x. So on the numerator, we are just going to have 2h. On the denominator, we shall have the h. You can see, the h is available on the numerator and the denominator. So we can easily cancel it out between uh, itself on the numerator and the denominator. So we can easily say, h there is 1 and h there is 1. So that finally dy dx dy dx will be given by 2. Don't worry about the limit here because the limit of a constant is that constant. So finally, our dy dx of f of x is equal to 2x, or y is equal to 2x, is 2.